been called the worst statue in sport in today's newspapers and some Southampton fans are calling for it to be pulled down just two days after it went up. Well, let's just show you the statue causing all the problems. It's at St Mary's Stadium. It's of a Southampton legend, Ted Bates, if you can't recognise it yourselves. Spent 60 years at the club as player, manager and behind the scenes. It cost over £100,000. Many Southampton fans aren't happy about it. They can only put a better one up because that is, you can't get any worse than that. So I think they should take it down and start again, to be honest. It's a bit of a disgrace. It's, um, it's not a fitting tribute to that great man. Seems silly to say this, but take the head off and, and redo the head. Uh, and I think it will be a fitting tribute to a man who did a lot for this club over 60, 65 years. <laughs> Emails falling <laughs> off the uh, printer because there are so many of them. Uh, one saying, do you think he ran out of bronze? Because it's quite little, isn't it, this uh, statue we're talking about. And uh, another from uh, Stephen in uh, Portsmouth, he says, the statue of Milan Mandrick outside Southampton, why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christopher Lofthouse of Blackburn agrees that uh, that statue of Ted Bates actually looks a lot like Milan Mandrick. The kick in the teeth he says to the Saints fans, he says, I'm a Blackburn fan. A few years ago, we had a statue erected at Ewood Park of the late uh, Jack Walker. He says, it's absolutely fantastic, the spitting image of the great man. Maybe they at Southampton should have got the man who created Uncle Jack's statue. Let us know if you have a worse statue than that at Southampton. It may be to your taste. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, you might even like it. The poor sculptor spent 18 months creating it. I'm sure he likes it. Yeah. You to us at SkySports.com. <laughs> Texas as well. 8440. Eight.